Police have released CCTV images of two men they want to speak to after panic broke out on the streets of London yesterday afternoon, injuring 16 people. Armed officers were called following reports of gunfire at Oxford Circus tube station. Investigators now say there is no evidence weapons have been fired. Our reporter Andy Moore is in central London for us now. And Andy, there was a lot of confusion, wasn't there, which is, which is what caused these injuries. Yes, there certainly was a lot of uh, panic and some witnesses talked about a, a stampede as people were trying to leave the tube station behind me. Uh, now all this happened at 37 minutes past four yesterday, just about the busiest time of one of the busiest days of the year. Uh, police got multiple reports of what uh, people thought were gunfire and police treated it as a terrorist incident. British Transport Police are trying to get the bottom of it. Uh, they've released these two images of men involved in what some eyewitnesses called a fight. Uh, police want to trace those men to find out what they know about what happened. Now with me is Jace Tyrrell from the organization that represents West End businesses. Uh, Jace, first of all, what do you think about the way uh, businesses and the police handled this alert? Well, first of all, we're very relieved this was, of course, a, a false incident. And I have to say, we must commend the police and the emergency services and, of course, the businesses here in the West End. They gave a very rapid response and, and well-rehearsed plans were put in place. And actually, within an hour, the situation was under control. And our businesses were obviously trading into the evening and, and open today. So really commend the response uh, of the emergency service and the police. As I was saying, it was very busy, the shops were doing well. Have they lost a lot of business? Will they be hit financially? Well, I think obviously a busy weekend here, Black Friday, and there were a lot of customers here enjoying some very good deals yesterday. I think it's a bit too early to tell what happened last night because actually some stores open uh, still and some close. However, we've still got the weekend. Uh, there are a lot of deals there in place, and obviously appropriate security is here uh, for our customers and our staff as well. Do you have any idea about how we can stop the hysteria, the panic spreading when it is a false alarm? Well, there's obviously some lessons we can learn from what happened yesterday. I think the response was excellent operationally, but I think there is sometimes a very heightened sense of security, a lot of social media out there, perhaps false information being spread. So I think we probably do need to have a look at how information is cascaded. But of course, our priority is safety of our customers and our staff, and operationally, we have those plans in place to protect them. Thank you very much. And 16 people were unfortunately injured in that incident yesterday. Seven treated here, discharged, um, eight taken to hospital with minor injuries, uh, one person with more serious leg injuries. Naga? Okay. Andy, thanks very much. Andy Moore there.